Now, ABC 7 News at 5, on your side. Tonight, a grieving family struggles to understand why a two-year-old is dead. And police say it happened at the hands of the man his mother was living with. Maryland Bureau Chief uh, Brad Bell is live in Lanham to explain the story. Brad? Yeah, this incident happened April 9th here in the Glendale Apartments, a first floor walk up. This man right here was supposed to be babysitting this two year old little boy. Whatever happened in the unit, this child ended up deceased. Anthony Winfrey would have turned two next Friday. He was a little boy who loved his toys and cuddling. That's what his obituary says an obituary for a toddler allegedly murdered in his own apartment by a man he trusted. He was buried Monday. Today, his grandfather musters the strength to speak briefly of his family's pain. Our family is just in, in, in the process of grieving and our mo mourning over Anthony. This man, Joshua Riley, 29, is charged with murdering Anthony. He lived with Anthony's mother in this apartment in Lanham. Back on April 9th, Riley was babysitting the little boy. When Anthony's mother came home, she found her son unresponsive. He died in the hospital six days later. When an autopsy showed the cause of death as blunt force trauma, detectives charged Riley. Now my heart is just racing. Corey Dickerson lives in the unit below Winfrey's. He watched as police arrested Riley yesterday, but didn't know until today why. My daughter actually asked me, she was like, where's the little boy? Anthony's grandfather will not discuss the murder or the allegations against Joshua Riley and says his daughter wants privacy as she mourns her son's death. Look like an adorable little boy. He, he certainly is. Well, Riley faces a long list of charges. First degree murder at the top of that list. Also second degree murder, first degree assault, and child abuse at this hour. He remains locked up. In Lanham, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.